Istanbul's mayoral election was disputed from the start. On the night of March 31st, the ruling AK Party's candidate, Binali Yildirim, was first to declare victory. That was soon followed by his rival, Ekrem Imamoglu, of the Republican People's Party. After all the votes were counted, it was Imamoglu who won. But his margin of victory was narrow, just 13,000 votes. There is doubt and there is clearly election fraud here. The only authority that can end this doubt, this unlawfulness and this controversy is the Supreme Election Committee. Therefore, we've prepared all the documents and brought them here. We filed our appeal to the Supreme Election Committee to annul and rerun the election. In the end, Imamoglu was Istanbul's mayor for less than a month. Turkey's Supreme Election Committee has ordered a rerun of the mayoral election. The committee has found some election staff weren't civil servants, as well as other irregularities. Imamoglu says he won't boycott the vote, which will take place on June 23rd. This is a big blow to our democracy. We have to repair this together. Of course, we have reactions to this process, but as I said, our leader will explain this process to our people. Let us say this to our people and to the residents of Istanbul. Everything is going to be all right. Recep Tayyip Erdogan was mayor of Istanbul in the 1990s, and parties connected to him have run the city ever since. Winning here is the greatest prize for any political party. It's the biggest city and the economic heart of Turkey. But the decision to rerun the election has provoked strong feelings. Many came out to protest on the day the rerun decision was announced. Some demonstrators claim Imamoglu has been robbed of his victory. The election was held and the people made up their mind. Disrespecting the will of the people will alienate us from the rule of law. Despite all that, we still have confidence in the law. Anur Erem worked on the AK Party's campaign. I asked him if annulling this election result could be seen as violating the rule of law in Turkey. The, the, the approach that AK Party does not you know, recognize the rule of law when it comes to the point if AK Party loses, I do definitely not accept. And the evidence in hand definitely refuses this, uh, this, this kind of approach. There's been an international outcry against Turkey's electoral authority. Germany and France have both expressed concern, as has the United States. Erdogan's Justice and Development Party has governed the nation since 2003. Will the rerun be a bellwether for the party's popularity? Is this a legal ruling with purely local implications or a sign of a bigger issue? Haider Abbasi, The Newsmakers. Oh.